Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to share Google Drive's file on WhatsApp. So imagine this, you are working in a company and you have just recently uploaded a file on their Google Drives. So you want to notify your boss on WhatsApp. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy the link from Google Drive and manually paste it to send it on WhatsApp to your boss. Or you can bring in some automation. So here, when a new file is uploaded or created in Google Drive, it will automatically send this file link on WhatsApp. Now in this video, we will be using Pabbly Connect to integrate Google Drive and WhatsApp. Now this little integration can be done in very few steps. And the best part of using Pabbly Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabbly.com in your browser. Pabbly.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabbly.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabbly Connect. You can create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabbly Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Google Drive to WhatsApp. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive because we want to send the data from Google Drive. That is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new file? Okay, so new file is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new file is uploaded in Google Drive, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new file. Now in case, if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepabbly.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new file is uploaded in Google Drive. Okay, so basically at this point, all we have to do is just click on connect with Google Drive. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Google Drive. So these are the series of uh, Gmail accounts I have and I want to connect with this uh, particular Google Drive. So I'm selecting this one. Okay, so now Public Connect is demanding access to confirm my choice. Just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. So usually what happens is after choosing the app and choosing the trigger event, we just uh, copy the webhook URL into the trigger software. But in this case, all we have to do is uh, just click on save and send test request. So when we click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded file in Google Drive. I repeat again, when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently uploaded file in Google Drive. Let me show you. Let me just upload a new file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upload a file. Okay, so we are going to upload this file, Scarlett Johansson. Okay, so this is the file and it is being uploaded. Okay, the file has been uploaded. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to Public Connect and when I click on save and send test request, it will uh, fetch the data of uh, this particular file, Scarlett Johansson. So let me do that. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, it is showing the name as Scarlett Johansson dash one. Okay, so this is the file. So let me just uh, scroll down and let me just uh, open the link. Okay, so this is the link. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and open this in the new tab. Okay, so this is the same photo that we had uploaded. Okay, so let me show you. Yes, this is the same photo that we had uploaded. So my point is uh, we have successfully got this data. Now we want to send it to WhatsApp. Now there is one minor problem. Now this link is not exactly a shareable link. I mean, when I send this data to an end user, he will, he will be having trouble in opening this link. Let me show you. Let me just again copy this link and open this in an incognito mode. So I'm just pasting this link and trying to open it. 
Okay, so this is how the end user will feel like. So basically, he has to enter my credentials to access this file. So that is the problem. So basically, we have to convert this link into a shareable one. So to do that, just scroll down and click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Drive once again, Google Drive. Now in the action event, how about we make it as share a file with anyone. Okay, so this is the action event we want. Then again, click on connect with Google Drive. Okay, so this time we are going with this one. This is the recent setting. Okay, so let's just click on save. Okay, so in the file ID, it is showing it as we will rock you. This is not the file we want. So basically, we want to map this file ID. Let me show you the file ID. Okay, so this is the file ID we want to map. So how about we remove this? Okay, toggle this to the right. Remove this. And let's map the file ID. So this is the file ID we want. And let's just click on save and send us request. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the response. So now this uh, ID is showing that anyone with link. So basically anyone with this link can access this file. Excellent. So now we are ready to sync all this data to WhatsApp. So we are going to send a WhatsApp message via chat API. So let's uh, click on this plus button. And in the choose app, how about we make it as uh, chat API, chat API. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as send a link. Okay, so just click on connect with chat api now in the new credentials we have to enter the api url as well as the token now to get the api url as well as the token let's go to uh, chat api so this is the api url you want copy this and simply paste it here okay so coming to the token again go back to uh, chat api so copy this this is the token you want and paste it here easy okay so we have entered the api url also we have entered the token so let me just click on save Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. Now, before we start mapping, there is something you should know. There is something called as base64 encoded required. So basically, we want to convert the file into a base64 encoding. So what is that? So I will explain you in a very few simple terms. So base64 is an encoding scheme that converts binary data into text format so that the encoded uh, textual data can be easily transported over network which is uncorrupted and without any data loss. So the problem with uh, sending normal binary data to a network is that bits can be misread which produces incurrent data at the receiving node and that is why we have to convert using this code. So if you don't get it, it's simply simply like this. If you are going to send a file, you basically have to convert using base64 encoding. So to do that, all you have to do is uh, just click on this plus button. It's really easy. You don't have to worry. We don't have to use any kind of coding or anything. Uh, so we are going to use uh, data transformer. Okay. And in the action event, just uh, click on base64 encode. Okay. So just click on connect with data transformer. Now in the data, we have to map in the data. So basically our data is the file, the link of the file that we want. So just scroll down and this is the file link. So we have mapped it and let me just click on save and send us request. Okay, so the API response is showing this is the encode data. So this is the one we want. So basically we have to map this data here. Okay, we have to map this data here. Now let me just again refresh this. So this is the recent one. Let me just click on save. Okay, so let's start mapping. So in the contact group, we are going to leave it as blank because uh, we are planning to send individual message. So we are leaving it as blank. Now in the phone number, we are just going to type in the phone number. So this is the phone number that I want to send the data to. So now we have uh, entered the phone number. Now coming to the body. So this is the body. Basically, that's the link. So this is the link. So we have mapped it. Now coming to base64 encoded. This is something that we have uh, recently derived. So let me just, just scroll down and just map it. So this is the data that we need. Okay, base64 encoded. So this is something that we have derived here. Okay, so we have mapped it. Now in the title. So the title is uh, Scarlett Johansson dash one so we are just going to map that detail so this is the title now in the description uh, we can just uh, map in the detail like uh, since this account belonged to this guy called as mark Mavis uh, so we are just going to type like uh, or uh, this file is from okay and just type the name of the owner of the file so that is uh, Michael Karras. Okay, so this is the guy. 
okay so this is uh, this file is from michael caris and this is the title and then we have uh, the encoding and of course the body of the message that's the basically this is the link okay and this is the phone number that's the where the message will be sent so all i have to do is uh, just click on save and send test request to send the message so let me do that let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent so let me just uh, look into whatsapp did we really get the link okay so i'm opening web whatsapp okay so let's have a look did we really get the whatsapp message okay yeah we do have a message okay yes scarlett johansson so let's explore the link okay yes this is the correct form okay so this is the link that we wanted okay so the presence of uh, this image shows that we have successfully integrated google drive and whatsapp with help of public Connect. so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but before we do that, let me take it to Public Connect and let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So I'm just going to minimize my action window. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this action window. I'm going to minimize this action window and of course I'm going to minimize the trigger window. So basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Google Drive to Public Connect and then you have converted uh, the link to a shareable link. Okay, and then you have used the data transformer. And of course you have connected chat API to Public Connect. So now there's a perfect flow of data between Google Drive and chat API, I mean WhatsApp. So how about we go to Google Drive and how about we just create a new file. This time I'm not going to upload any uh, image. This time I'm going to create a new sheet. Okay, so how about we work with uh, Google Sheet. Okay, so the name of the Google Sheet I'm going to enter is uh, Okay, data, database 101. Okay, so this is the newly created uh, file. Okay, so let's have a look in WhatsApp. Did uh, WhatsApp, uh, did we really have a link of uh, this particular uh, sheet? Okay, so we have got the message and this is the link, database uh, 101. So let's explore that. So I have uh, clicked on this link. Yes, it's the correct spreadsheet excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine it means anytime a new file is uploaded in google drive it will be reflected as a link in whatsapp not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks